really, I'm just a speck, I'm just a speck, compared with a star, the planet is just another speck, to think about all of this, to think about the vast emptiness of space, millions and millions of stars, millions and millions of specks of beauty, the living thing is not the atoms that go into it, but the way those atoms are put together. Across the sea of space, the stars are alert. We have traveled this way before, and there is much to be learned. We're all connected to each other, biologically, to the Earth, chemically, to the rest of the universe. We talk, find it elevating and exhilarating to discover that we live in a universe which permits the evolution of molecular machines as intricate and subtle. As we. I know that the molecules in my body are traceable to phenomena in the cosmos that makes me want to grab people in the street and say, Have you heard this? The beauty of a living thing is not the atoms that go into it, but the way those atoms are put together. Also within us, we're made of spark stuff, and we are away of the cosmos and know it's all. There's this red speck waves all over in space, which is the light bouncing around the room, going from one thing to the other. And it's all really, 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 but you gotta stop and think about it, about the complex, and really get the play. And it's all really, 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 the inconceivable nature of nature. To think about all of this, to think about the vast emptiness of space, millions and millions of stars. Atoms that go into 